Good morning, friends. My name is Reverend Darrell Goodwin, and I have the privilege and honor of serving as the Executive Conference Minister of the Southern New England Conference of the United Church of Christ. We are a collection of over 600 congregations, 1,400 authorized ministers, and 120,000 of God's faithful. When I think about that 120,000 of God's faithful, I think about the power we collectively have together to literally change the face of Southern New England. And if we really trust in our faith and our work, the world. This is a moment in the life of this congregation where you are choosing to burn brighter. You're choosing to think about how you can stretch yourself beyond the immediacy of the ways in which you've envisioned or thought about yourself and charting a path forward. Whenever I visit churches, I sing this song, which I want to share with you, and I hope it'll make sense for you in this season of generosity and sowing into our collective work together. Hear these words. You won't leave here like you came, in Jesus' name. Bound, oppressed, broken, sick or the same. For the power of God is still the same. You won't leave here like you came in Jesus' name. I won't leave here like I came in Jesus' name. Bound, oppressed, broken, sick or the same. For the power of God is still the same. You won't leave here like you came. I won't leave here like I came in Jesus' name. If we think about our collective mission together, we might end with this line. We won't leave here like we came in love's name. Bound, oppressed, broken, sick or the same. For the power of love is still the same. You won't leave here like you came. I can't leave here like I came. We won't leave here like we came in love's name. Every invitation to our churches is that people might encounter us. They might walk into our sacred spaces and that they might leave differently than the way they've came. The Southern New England Conference has been inspired by what's happening in Granby. We've been inspired because somehow two congregations have chosen to weave a path together that people might not leave you the same way they came. Our world is in desperate need of safe and sacred places that are transformative, that stretch, that renew, that call us towards something deeper and brighter. The choice you've made to chart this new path, a path that is often still not happening in the United Church of Christ, you are leading away. You are doing a maverick thing that I hope will inspire not only the immediacy of your community, but might inspire the Southern New England Conference and the United Church of Christ as a whole. As you burn brighter, the invitation is how will you invest in financial as well as time and treasure and talent ways that we might move this value proposition together. The yes that you are making as a congregation mirrors the yes I hope folks make when they sow into the Southern New England Conference and who God is calling us collectively to be as we live the love and justice of Jesus. Your gift matters. It matters so that people might find a safe and sacred place. It matters that people might see the beautiful work that's happening in Granby and be inspired to move beyond the immediacy of their fears so that they can find their yes. It matters because collectively, when we come together, I truly believe the scripture where two or three are gathered in my name, I will be in the midst. Where two or three decide to put their resources together, 
I believe God is in the midst. God is in the midst so that justice might be proclaimed. God is in the midst so that extravagant welcome might be manifest. God is in the midst that we might create collectively through our will and our effort, modern day miracles. My friends, I know already that in this season and in the next, you will not leave Granby the same way you came. God bless, and I trust that you will sow into the future of what God is doing as we burn brighter together.